Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we are at IAA in Hanover and we are on the Fuso stand. And what we're going to be looking at is the e canter. It's the new e canter. And so, what we're going to be talking about is just the variations, the technical details, etc. etc. So, this is the 4.25 ton chassis uh, and it talks about all the different options that are available. So let's start at the front and you've got a new LED lights and headlights, front and rear, and a slightly different front fit. This is the second time I've had the e canter on the channel. Um, you can, I'll put the link on the screen and also in the description for the other version of it. So originally released in 2017, this is the second generation e canter They've sold hundreds of them actually, and they've done over 6 million kilometers globally. There are the two different versions there, but there are 42 different configurations. So there are four different weight classes. You've got a 4.25 ton, you've got a six ton, you have a 7.49 ton and an 8.55 ton. Uh, makes E work is the e canters logo or tagline. Uh, the six ton isn't available in right-hand drive, so in the UK, Irish uh, and Maltese markets, you won't get that, but you will get in other markets. Wheelbases, it comes in a 2.5 meter, 2.8, 3.4, 3.85, 4.45 and 4.75 wheelbase. Uh, three battery sizes and Fuso, as you know, is a uh, Mitsubishi Daimler collaboration, so I believe that the battery is in here are from the Mercedes-Benz EQS. Three battery sizes, a 41.3 kilowatt hour, which gives you an expected range of 70 kilometers, a 82.6 kilowatt hour, and you also have a, that gives you 140 kilometers, and then 123.9 kilowatt hour battery, giving you an expected range of 200 kilometers. Those batteries are 94% usable and they also have, um, that's with a load of 70% and we'll talk about loads in a bit. So you can see the LED lights here as well at the rear. That battery is a LFP battery, lithium ion phosphate, and that just means it's less dependent on that raw materials like nickel, cobalt and manganese. Charging is over here and you can see when it was launched in Japan last week, it was a type 2 AC and a Chatamo. But here in Europe we have CCS. Uh, depending on the battery size will dictate what kind of AC charging level you'll get. So it's 11 kilowatt on the smaller battery size and on AC that goes up to 22 kilowatt hours. Uh, sorry, 22 kilowatts uh, for the medium and the large battery. Respectively, charging times are four, five and six hours depending on the size of the battery. And then DC you get 70 kilowatt hour battery, sorry, 70 kilowatt peaked on the smaller battery, and then on the larger battery, it is 104 kilowatt hour peak, sorry, kilowatt DC charge and peak, and that's 70 kilowatt uh, continuous. So you get to zero to 90% in 36 minutes, 44 minutes, that's for the two different battery sizes, and for the large battery, it'll take you zero to 90% in one hour and 15 minutes. In Japan, because of the Chatamo, you're gonna get a uh, option of bio-directional charging that vehicle to load, and that goes up to 10 kilowatts. Um, Size-wise, and you can see it over here on this larger body, it can go up to four, 16 euro pallets. What's well, 15 on the side there, but I was reading somewhere else, it was at 16. So there's 42 configurations, up to 15 euro pallet capacity, 200 kilometer range and that payload on the bigger one is 4.6 tons and you can see the max uh, kgs there uh, payload speaking of which the smaller chassis um, is 1695 kgs uh, then the six ton is 3445 the seven and a half ton it gives you a payload of 3,700 kg, and then the 8.5 ton gives you a payload of 4,400. So the e-motor is inside, up near the front, and you have an e-axle down there as well. You can see the e-motor down in here. And that just means that there's more space than there's no... Um, it has an integrated differential and it has no prof shaft. Now the old e-canter e from Fuso had a two-stage regen. This has four-stage regen. It has automatic lights, automatic uh, high beam, 
automatic wipers. Uh, the cab itself comes in two different sizes. The standard, which has a 1.7 meter width, and then the Comfort, which is the bigger one down the end there, that is nearly a two meter width. Size-wise, you can see there, that's very similar to a Dyna, uh, a Toyota Dyna. Um, so if you're looking for that smaller chassis width and length, um, Eve Cantor from Fuso definitely has it. You also have a performance package which will help with performance and you can see it here's a performance improvement package. What that is is it will give you heated windscreen, heated steering wheel, heated seats um, and then you have that flash of orange, you have that leather steering wheel and multi-directional. This is where your key goes now whereas on the old one it has. Screen wise it is LCD display, it's got leather, very comfortable. You see the electronic handbrake there as well. Safety systems on the e -canter. you can see. Safety systems on the e -canter are, um, got my notes here, um, the AVAS system, which is the pedestrian warning. It has a ABS, ESP, active brake assist, which is great, lane departure warning, and also active side guard assist, which is that blind spot. Plenty storage up here for your documents. Um, great storage over there. And this is the, 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 uh, the, 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 the narrower cab. Looking forward to getting this out on the road uh, and test driving it. Uh, and because it has the 4.25 ton on certain licenses and they brought in that size because the original E-Canter only came in a 7.5 ton a variant whereas there's lots of different variants now for that. Um, looking forward to trying it. My, uh, my license will allow me to drive that 4.25 ton. Uh, just running around quickly, you have some highlights, so you can talk about the performance package here. But when you go down along, it actually they've highlighted the likes of this crash sensor here. Uh, you've got that electric drive module, electric parking brake. So they've highlighted all the different elements of this e-canter from Fuso. Moving up along the side, you can see there that's the manual battery server disconnect if needed. You've got the side guard assist. So this is the one that's picking up. Uh, if there's a uh, cyclist etc etc uh, and then you've got the AC that CCS there as well uh, the disconnect service for the battery the crash sensor there as well so overall this is the e canter I'll just put the different variations up here the different payloads etc etc and you can find out more here if you want to pause so that is the e-canter from Fuso. Great to see it. Great to see this size. And you can see the different variations there between that flash of orange is lovely. But you can see it here as well. Great to have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed my look around the Fuso e Canter. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.